Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? Like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you have any doubts, look at all these happy customers. Okay, for this video to make any sense, I need to set the scene a little bit. So, move back to university, have some fun, but I'm living with a house with a bunch of other people. And some of these people, they haven't played GTA before, so, you know, I thought, uh, launch it up on the main TV, get it going, show them what's a good game, and then things go a little bit pear-shaped. So, yeah, let's get on to it. If there was any video game that looks remotely entertaining, it's GTA. I understand why that would be fun. So yeah, thanks to the microphone that's built into the PS5 controller, you guys could hear that. But unfortunately, because I don't want the whole lobby to hear everything that's going on, I have to mute it, which means you can't hear any more stuff. But anyway, here's a compilation of me showing fun things you can do on GTA Online. But unfortunately, I was having way too much fun that I didn't notice the two people pull up on me. As you can hear, they sound quite angry and quite desperate to kill me. Now if I actually go back, you can see them in the same car together, driving towards me. Uh, mad, bro. Uh. So at this point in time, I'm playing on the console with 30 FPS on a massive TV that has incredible input delay for probably the first time in about two or three months. And I've also got people in the room that I'm talking to at the same time, so the odds on me winning this fight are against me. And as we'll soon find out, this guy's going to be a massive pain in the ass. Up next, a bunch of things that f***ed me over in this fight. So as you can see, my dot is dead on him and his health isn't going down at all, so mm, a little bit fishy. But yeah, all of a sudden Autoim just breaks and doesn't actually aim on him, aims above him. Also in this clip I'm aiming with my homing launcher, but yeah, I just happened to shoot the car that was below me. Also, literally in the next clip, for some reason, Rockstar makes me lock onto that poor guy instead of the attack helicopter that's chasing me down. Drop a like if you think this guy is more dangerous than the person that's trying to kill me. Anyway, back to the fight. Let's play a game. Let's count the amount of explosions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Quick rant, look at this. Literally aim perfectly, but of course there's a sign in the way. A little bit unlucky, don't you think? 
so I'm too bunny for you actually manages to reach as a CEO and then goes off radar because a 2v1 and having helicopters 24 7 isn't enough an advantage Unfortunately, I find this incredibly boring, just this guy in a helicopter 24-7 and not being able to kill him, so I just get passive and then drive to the beach. And also, because I'm on my account that I haven't used in so long and it doesn't have a gun locker, I've got like 50 weapons to scroll through before I can get to a sticky bomb, so yeah. Also, I'm not sure if it's a PS5 controller thing or the way I'm holding the controller or just bad muscle memory. For some reason I keep switching to my hand when I'm clearly switching to a sticky bomb, like I switch to a sticky bomb and I still go back to my hand, still punch in the air, it's just kind of messed me up in a lot of fights. In fact, at this point, I actually run and get my PS4 controller because I don't want to buy a PS5 controller. I'm gonna like it's a little bit too much for me. I just wanna reset, chill out for a second, and try and maybe get a 1v1 out of situation rather than just getting constantly 2v1 because it is really hard. So this guy wants to play by rules, saying no CEO, no EWO, but he's there 2v1 me, which is a little bit hypocritical. But he says 2v1s are fine, it's a challenge. Why wouldn't you want a challenge? I say maybe challenge yourself by 1v1ing me, but I guess we can't have everything we want. So in the end the scores are 12-12 with this guy, 7-7 seven, seven with the other, even with a 2v1, even with all their advantages, the, the helicopters they spanned, the fact that it was a 2v1, they still couldn't beat me. Um, this guy, he hit Marcus me, then I realised I really am not having fun fighting this right now. I have better things to do, so I just decided might as well just get off and have some fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. New video soon.